case you guys didn't know how I made my coffee. Oh man, we're right to the brim. Oh my gosh. getting highlights Whee! good morning you guys happy vlogmas day 15 I am just enjoying this leisurely morning I'm in my big pink comfy hoodie I've got the Yule Log on, listening to the Johnny Mathis Christmas album. It's my absolute favorite. Just did my doing well daily for the day. Um, and Delaney just left for her hair appointment. She's getting highlights. And my money pieces are like really showing today. I'm kind of here for it. Um, I just showered obviously as well. I haven't had breakfast yet, which is crazy for me. But yeah, today's going to be a vlog of Vlogmas as normal. I have my last final tomorrow, so I'm going to be doing a lot of studying. I want to work on my study guide. Thankfully, thankfully, he's letting us use our notes for this exam which is so clutch because this class is so hard and all the other tests we haven't been able to use our notes we can only we could have the textbook but like we couldn't use our notes and the notes are where it's at so I'm very thankful for that so I want to work on my study guide so I can use it for the exam I also need to finish up I thought I was on my trend forecasting class but we have one more little section that we need to finish up and yeah I'm heading home soon so I want to start packing doing some laundry Random stuff like that also so hype our apartment complex sometimes during finals does like free food and everything And they were like the first 15 people to respond to this will get a Papa John's pizza delivered So that's gonna be our lunch today and I'm so excited So yeah, that's that's what's going on there. I might do a little roomy Q&A with Delaney later I want to go for a walk. I've been really enjoying going for walks. It's so nice I haven't been going to spin because um, I don't know why honestly I like haven't gone like the last two weeks But I'm so excited to go home and use my peloton and just like vibe out I don't know. I like really haven't worked out if I'm being honest I just like have been prioritizing finals and vlogmas. So it's really weird I guess I did a couple of things on the treadmill like the 12 3 30 challenge, but that's it but anyways, welcome to Vlogmas. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm hungry. Let's get started with the day. I can't lie you guys. I'm still sitting here. I just had some toes and I just posted another Instagram picture. I've been just like really into the gram and coming up with outfits. This is one of the outfits from the shoot yesterday and I took a selfie while we were outside. So, um, definitely follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn. It's a good time. All right, we're just gonna run this guy through my hair. This is my Dyson Airwrap. I love it so much. I've been using this head a lot. It's just so nice. Um, putting in a little bum 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 bum. Heat protectant. I, it makes me not use um, my straightener as much because I don't want to use that as much of my hair. But it kind of just gives my hair a little bit more of a sleek look while keeping it like voluminous. <laughs> Enough. Wow, it's also like really cold outside, so I think that helps when there's like no humidity. I'll link it down below. This thing is my lifesaver. I went ahead and got dressed for the day because it just makes you feel better. And when you feel better, you look better. When you look better, you do better. Whatever that TikTok noise is. Um, so here is my little study outfit. <laughs> You know, it's cold here and it's not as cold in Florida. So when I go back, like I want to be able to wear my thick jackets while I can here. Um, so yeah, this top is from an Instagram. It's called Lorelli. Necklace, gold hour co, sweatpants, Princess Polly. I've been wearing these a lot because they're a little bit thicker, so a little warmer. Air Force One Sages. And then this jacket that I got from ASOS that I can finally wear because it's a little bit thicker. Um, it's... A nice bomber jacket I love this color so yeah this is the fit the look all right so we are gonna set up shop here for now because they're gonna be delivering our pizza soon actually I want to make sure I'm here and say thank you because that's so nice of our apartment to do that for us so I'm gonna set up shop here for a little bit and 
um, actually drink a kombucha, get some stuff done, because I have people in one of my classes like texting me about questions, and I feel like they're probably studying right now, so I just want to be able to help now. Um, what am I doing? Oh, I'm trying to find my lighter, and I'm going to light the candles, and we're going to set up shop. All right, fresh balsam candle number one is <laughs> lit. I want this place to smell like a Christmas tree farm. Here's our other one here. These are just so beautiful and powerful. <laughs> here we go, and I just realized you can't hear the crackling noises of the, the fire. I love hearing the crackling noises. You know, it feels real, okay? I also just realized I haven't been outside today, so I'm just gonna like step out and get some fresh air. All right, that's enough, let's go. <laughs> oh, I love my apartment so much. I wish I could just like bring it back home with me for the holidays. I talked about this playlist yesterday, but I have been vibing with it. So that's gonna be today's workflow playlist. I mean, it makes sense, it's called workflow. It's just like upbeat, but like also, I don't know. But like it's instrumental. I have been loving this. Goodness, we love a pizza moment. Uh, is this what they call a mukbang? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I am literally so excited. This is like the nicest thing ever. And I'm literally studying. Like, this is for finals, so it's perfect. Mmm. Guys, something about Papa John's, like, some people hate it, but I love it. Let me know down below because I feel like some people love it or they're like, ew, it's not real pizza, but. It's so good. Looks like Ryan's been studying too. I'm such a creep. Like I always look at the stuff. Like Brooke's listening to her top songs. I know I'm really a creep. Just cross off for sure. Um, Delaney's still at the hair salon and I'm like dying to see her hair. She doesn't get her hair done a lot and I know she's really excited. So I'm just being impatient and starting to get cloudy outside and I'm really, really sad about it. Um, and yeah, I have to finish up something for our trend book. Um, which is like our magazine. If you guys watched yesterday's vlog, I talked about and showed some behind the scenes of like the photo shoot we did for our trends book. A lot of you guys want me to show more, so I thought I would. Um, that's my friend Emily, she's killing it. We had her be the cover. That photo is insane. Um, so we basically had different jobs. So one of our friends is the editor in chief. I was the styling director, as you can see. Um, and yeah, I did this one on the zeitgeist of today. And I also highlighted three designers right now. And I decided that the zeitgeist of today was change, sustainability, and pandemic. And I talked about three different designers that kind of highlighted those things. And then one of our other group members talked about chain jewelry and how that's an emerging trend. We all did this together. We all decided and then we each like did different pages and did the layout. So some of this we pulled, some of this we shot. Um, on the outs, puka shell necklaces are out. We decided um, the celebrity we wanted to highlight of just style in general right now is the queen of streetwear, Hailey Bieber. So we did a whole spread on her. We've just had so much fun. We decided the theme for our animal print would be called Concrete Jungle because it just felt right. Um, and we're so, I can't wait to like see this all printed out and everything. And we picked out the materials and the silhouettes and literally just everything that would go with that style. Um, we have some other things here, some more writing, obviously. Yeah, so then these are the themes we were talking about that we shot. So this was like the athleisure theme that you guys saw me wearing yesterday. We created a mood board for it with colors and everything of the sorts, a narrative, basically. She was forced to take a break from her hustled life in quarantine. She was feeling low in motivation, yet still wanted to be productive. Comfort and ease were important to her. She lounged around doing work from home all day. A hot cup of coffee in hand, blue light glasses on, ready to take on the day ahead. I actually wrote that if you can't tell. Um, so yeah, then we talked about some of our inspirations for this bold relaxation theme. You know, how velour track suits used to be a thing, 80s workout, kind of that vibe. And then our second theme we created, like I've talked about before, was muted. Um, and we kind of made that theme blending in while standing out. Here's the mood board for that. These are themes that we predicted basically for next 
through 2021. I forgot to say that. Um, and we have some buzzwords that kind of go with it. I like had so much fun with this. Um, that's from the shoot yesterday. Um, so yeah, we just talked about muted as the essence of simple, clean, sophisticated, yet effort effortlessly chic. Though it seems like a bland style, there are so many ways to elevate it and make it your own. From the era of 70s boho to the 80s power suit to now, this theme is stood true to itself and never faded. <clears throat> Our inspiration for this was the 70s and also power suits. A lot of like muted, more neutrals, but then also kind of bold and chic. So then we also did color stories. Oh, there's me. Hey, from yesterday. Um, some color forecasting, color evolution. Basically, this is like a compilation of a ton of our different projects that we have put together um, and assignments that we've had throughout the semester. And we're basically just putting it all together. So we're not finished with it yet, as you can see. Um, we're still kind of putting in some of the information. But yeah, I just have to work on the, I think I just have to do the narrative for animal print. And I also have to do the color forecast. So I'm gonna be working on that right now. The only reason I'm showing you guys is because, well one, I think it's really dope. I love my major. And two, a lot of you guys have been asking me and have been interested when I show more of my schoolwork because it actually is kind of interesting. And I think a lot of people are very curious as to what it's like being a fashion merchandising major. So. Where did Concrete Jungle go? Oh, there it is. So I'm gonna work on the narrative for that, which will be fun to write. I get to get all descriptive. I'm not like the best writer in the world, but I love doing descriptive writing like this. So I'm basically gonna come up with like a narrative description about our theme called Concrete Jungle, which is animal prints, but more bold animal prints that can be seen more in a chic realm. So that's what we're doing. Guys, please look at this. I was on my Snapchat memories and this was from three years ago today. <laughs> My mom made her first boomerang, and I thought it was the funniest thing. Like, she's just, oh, so good. So she, I just sent it to her, and she goes, my new boomerang three years later. And she just films herself doing it. It's not even a boomerang. <laughs> so funny. Guys, look at Delaney's hair! Oh my gosh, if you guys are wondering, she went to Page Boy Salon here in Athens. I love how she curled your hair, too. I know, it's like so casual. Looks so good. Yes, it looks so good, yay! Now she's eating pizza too. <laughs> All right, so I just finished writing the narrative if you guys are curious. She was wild, like an animal in the jungle, yet she was confined to the industrial sites of the concrete jungle. She dreamed of running wild and free, but was still addicted to the hustle and bustle of the city. Yeah, now I'm working on the Pantone colors. I'm picking out Pantone colors that would go best with this trend. So I'm doing like a dark brown that would kind of mimic the cowhide print. That's something we'd use there going from there. All right, you guys, we have a package in the mail. So we're gonna do a little unboxing. I know it's from Shop No Cap and I'm so excited. They sent me something. I bought a couple of their masks. I've shown them. It's like the Dior one and the Fendi one. And they sent me some things, which is really, really sweet. Um, oh my God, this is so cute. It's a tank top, a little Coco Chanel situation here. Very fun, very chic. Actually, it would be cute with, um, these sweats, so shop no cap, they have the cutest stuff. And then, oh my God, so cute. Wow, I feel so bougie. <laughs> Check them out, thanks guys, so cute. All right, just finished my trends assignment and my study guide, so that's exciting. I'll have to review my study guide later, but it's time for a break. We're going to the bookstore. <laughs> I was actually there last week, um, cause Delaney needs to get a Christmas gift and I'm just coming along for the ride and hopefully the Starbucks on campus is open because I am craving a coffee. Just sounds right. It's so like overcast out right now and yeah, so. Headed to campus, don't text. Y'all, the foliage. Y'all. Y'all, happy fall, y'all. <laughs> This is so beautiful, oh my goodness. That's the thing with Georgia, the leaves change like now when you want them to. I mean, they're pretty now, but like October is when I'm, oh! Yeah, this should have been. Wow, look at that. Would you look at that? 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 <laughs> my old dorm. I miss being on campus. This feels so right. Whee! guys miss the college vlogs because same mm. just getting
getting her dad a gift. I'm getting my dad and my mom's boyfriend gift. Getting it all done. This is always my favorite section. I'm like, mm. Welcome to the Bulldog Nation. Oh, football games. Got the goods. The football stadium. Wow, it's so beautiful over there. Oh, we're going to, Delaney, where do you think you're going? Starbucks, yay! <laughs> I'm really hoping Tate Starbucks is open. It's my favorite, it makes me feel like, what? Did you look it up? Um, it was open the other day when I was here around this time, so I didn't know if Google was accurate. So, all right, coffee time. Oh my gosh, this thing is gorgeous. I'm trying the Irish cream cold brew. Updates to come. Guys, I didn't get to vlog my first sip because I was too excited. Oh my gosh, I totally understand why people like this. It's kind of like the sweet cream cold brew, but like, Irish. But Irish. It's so good. Fun fact, my last name is Irish. I am part Irish. My name's Irish too. Yes, her name's Irish too. Gosh, this is really good. They put like whipped cream or something on the front. On the front. <laughs> on the top. Review is good. Alright, you guys. As promised, we're gonna do a little roommate tag because we've never done this before. Ooh, my Who knows each other better? Is that what this is? No. <laughs> <laughs> That would be another video we could do. Well, this one's kind of just like questions about, well, we'll both answer them, you'll see. So we have our friend Katie in the background. She's hey. gonna read us the questions. And yeah, there's basically 20 questions, just like a fun little way to get to know us and our friendship and our roommate ship. All right, All right you guys it. ready? Yes. Okay, number one. Were you guys friends before you were roommates? Yes. <laughs> this is like, aw. <laughs> um, yeah, no. That would be, yeah. I could not live with someone. Well, I guess freshman year, we all, well, no, you were friends with your yeah, freshman year, my roommate. Right. So, do yeah. This late into college. What was your first impression of each other? <laughs> <laughs> I just remember being like, oh my God, another Delaney. Cause my freshman year, it was Delaney. And you were just like nice and like, hey. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just thought you were really energetic and like outgoing. <laughs> and I was like, oh. Oh, it's a bad thing. No, it wasn't a bad thing. I was just like, oh, she's like yeah. really hyped. All right, I'll be friends. <laughs> Number three, who does the most amount of house chores? <laughs> Probably Delaney. Me. Yeah. Ugh. I'll like come back. Danielle does a lot though. I think I do a lot, but like you just do it more. I do it like throughout the day. Yeah, whereas I'm like, I time batch. So I'm like, okay, I'm cleaning tomorrow like all day. Yeah. Or like Delaney, I'll just come back and she like did the dishes or like vacuumed randomly. I do do that. Yeah. You do do that. <laughs> okay. Is there any habit that you know annoys your roommate? That, like my own habit? Oh, yeah, I like this question. Well, I sometimes clutter things easily. Like I clutter the hallway or like boxes for days. Yeah, it's not annoying though. I know, but I, oh, okay, good. I'm trying to think what annoys, like say what? it for me. Yeah. I honestly don't know. Well, that's good that you don't annoy each other. I know, I, I don't like it. Oh, oh, this isn't even like an annoyance thing, but like, you always are just so good about like cleaning things out and she's like, we don't need that anymore. I'm like, oh, I kind of want to hold on to things sometimes. Yeah, I'm, Danielle's a little bit of a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like we have 30,000 coffee mugs mm -hmm. and we really don't need them. And she, mm -hmm. we did a secret Santa with our friends and she asked for more coffee mugs. And I'm like, we and do I not need more coffee mugs. Katie got we do one. not need more coffee mugs. And I'm like, a, we, let's get it if we need it. Throw you it did drink out of it last night. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, who was the noisy roommate? I don't know. Probably me, because I'm like filming and podcasting and yeah. creating content. Blaring always. Yummy. I feel so bad because my desk is like right at her bed. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so if I'm recording the podcast, she like she doesn't need to listen because she's heard the whole thing. Oh, I heard the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, who is the messy roommate? You kind of already get that that one. Yeah, Delaney is so clean always. If there was anything you could throw out of the house that belongs to the other person, what would it be? Oh my god. <laughs> Coffee mugs. No, I'm <laughs> I know what you would say for me. My bananas. Whenever I have bananas oh, on top yeah. of the fridge. Just any kind of fruit. I hate it when she buys fruit. <laughs> and then when, one time the, the bananas, because I keep them on top of the fridge, it started like oozing down. Oh my god, I literally could not. I don't like fruit, and so when she buys fruit, it really freaks me out, but... <laughs> Another slide. I like couldn't throw anything away of yours because you don't have anything for me to freaking throw away. I know. <laughs> well, it's because Danielle had an apartment here last year, so we sh like everything's ago. hers. You know. Okay. Have you ever walked in on the other person at the wrong time? I <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I don't think so. I mean, I've walked in your room when you're like changing. I'm oh, like, actually, all the time. She always happens to walk in when I'm literally peeing or like <laughs> nude. I'm like, hey, what's up? Yeah. 
You've never walked in. Well, I mean, same for me. Probably. Same sometimes, but like on the toilet. Because we just like keep our doors open. Yeah. TMI, I guess. This is, I already know the answer to this one. Do you both sit around naked? No. <laughs> no. It's a little weird. No, we're, we're not like, I feel like some people do that though. Some, I mean, not sit around naked, but like some people are like very, just like roam around. Whereas you and I, I mean, we're respectful. Yeah, I would never. <laughs> we're probably <laughs> more conservative in that manner. Okay, which one of you gets easily frightened? I would say me. Oh, yeah. Like scary spooked. movies. Well, all of October last year, she would scare me every day when I walked in <laughs> from class, so. I don't get spookable easily. No, Delaney's pretty, just like, mellow. Very. Now we're on number 11. Who does most of the cooking? We both do. I really would say it was very equal. Like we usually try to cook together. We cook together for dinner pretty much every night. Or like sometimes like if she's like going somewhere, I'll be like, I'll cook it so that when you're back. We haven't done that in a while though. We haven't done that in a long time. But, but you're probably more of a chef in the kitchen. Really? Yeah, yeah right? Oh, I'll take it. I don't know. Maybe like like by like two meals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably. Who takes the longest to get ready? Well, this is kind of hard. This is tough. Because Danielle gets ready faster. She does her makeup and hair faster, but when we say like we'll be ready at this time, I feel like it's you always walking out two minutes late. Yes, and I'm 100%. waiting out here because I always want to pee one more time before we leave. Yeah, and sometimes I'll like take a mirror. Like you get ready out. fast, but I feel like you start getting ready late. Yes. So then you're late. Yeah, but not late. But late. <laughs> no, yeah, she does her makeup. Like we'll sit down and do our makeup at the same time, and like I finish really fast. Yeah, but, but I just start. But she, early. yeah, she's just is ready on time. Yeah. Who is the bigger foodie? Probably Delaney, if anything. Foodie. Yeah, you're more picky than I am. I'm pickier with certain things. But I'm picky too. Yeah, you don't like fruits and vegetables, really. <laughs> I love vegetables. I you do fruit. like vegetables. She doesn't like sauce, sauce I dressing, don't like sauce, salad dressing, cream cheese. <laughs> so you're both not foodies. <laughs> Neither of us are foodies, really. <laughs> we eat really basic food. Yeah. All right, number fifteen. Have you ever had to cover up a lie for your roommate? Totally. I yeah. Well, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I can. I can think. Of, this isn't a lie, but I remember one time Ryan's family was like, "Hey, we want to come up and see your apartment." And I was like, texting them, like, "Please make my bed. Like, clean this, clean oh, that." Oh yeah, it was a mess, and so <laughs> I really quickly got it. Yeah, That's she covered cool. my my booty for that. <laughs> Have you ever pulled a prank on your roommate? If so, what? Probably. Yeah. Like definitely. <laughs> Just like scaring you. Yeah. Not really a prank. I'm sure I've done something. I think you pranked me before. We I did prank her. Remember the one time where she was doing the UV light and we all ran out? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing it this red light. The red light. light. <laughs> and she had to have her, her eyes closed sitting for 10 like minutes. This. So we all ran when she, it was done. And I opened my eyes and they were all gone. And I was like, wait. It's like the whole time she was literally just asking us questions. <laughs> okay. Great memory. Have you ever had to lie to your roommate about their outfit and said it looked good even though it didn't? <laughs> we're pretty honest. Yeah, no. Especially I recently. We've gotten even better. Also. Yeah. No, but sometimes you'll be like, no, I love it. I'm like, oh, darn, but thank you. Yeah. Or like I'll say, no, the boots, color yeah, blocking. Like yeah, like <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah. And we both have, I think, pretty good style, so. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Have you ever worn your roommate's underwear? <laughs> no. No. I'll pass. I'll no. <laughs> like, and I've never even, like, gotten your stuff in my laundry. I guess, I've why never, would we, but... No. 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 Safe to say. All right, almost done. Number 19. Have you ever stolen something from your roommate? Like really? food, probably. Yeah. I I've stolen, stolen a piece of your paper like, before. Yeah. <laughs> I stole a piece of your bread last week. Because <laughs> I was out. <laughs> it's okay. I've definitely done that. Oh my god. Okay, last one. This has to be. What is the dumbest thing you've done together? I've done so many dumb things. Like, it's hard to pick the dumbest. <laughs> What do you think? The dumbest thing Probably seen. yelling at that person at the pool that you totally know. <laughs> oh, that was kind of funny. That was really funny. <clears throat> we can like see the pool from our balcony and Delaney like knew the guy. This guy who went to my high school and I hadn't seen him in forever and I was like, I dare you to say his name. And so they screamed it and I ran and got really embarrassed. And we all just like hid and he literally was like looking. We just like <laughs> but, like, random of course stuff he like knows that. what apartment it is. No, of course. <laughs> that he is totally a very knows. dumb thing. Yeah, like it was the only balcony door that was open too, and we're <laughs> all on fighting. the balcony. <laughs> well, we were, then we all ran in. That was funny. Oh, well, thanks for reading for us. Thanks. Anytime. That was kind of fun. That was kind of, some of them were hard. Some of them were hard. We didn't like think about these beforehand. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little roommate tag. <laughs> All right, we are now watching last night. Oh my gosh, Delaney, we have not caught up on a teacher. Have you watched a teacher? No, Wait, can we do that first? Or do you guys want to do no, Bachelor? We will be on, yeah, time. We will be on Bachelor time. Oh, got it, ladies. Got it. <laughs> okay, so we were watching Bachelorette last night. It was Monday. We didn't watch that. And then tonight's, obviously, tonight. Anyways, let's go. 
Guys, I'm so happy Ivan's staying. He's okay, but I like Ivan. Ah! I'm so excited. Hometowns, baby. All right, you guys, it is Vlogmas donation time. I do a lot of my donations based off of DMs that you guys sent me or if there's an organization that means a lot to me. So if you guys want to DM me on Instagram or comment on my YouTube video, if there's an organization you want me to donate to, I'm donating every day of Vlogmas. So today I'm going to be donating to the DACA Renewal and Initial Application Fees Fund. I think that's what it's called um, for United We Dream. Basically, the DACA program was just reinstated and there's a lot of high schoolers right now that are really struggling um, with all the application fees to apply to colleges and I'm really fortunate enough that I was able to obviously afford you know all of those crazy application fees so I want to give back in any way I can and the application fees are insane like they're upwards of like $20 $50 whatever it may be I remember so we're gonna donate right now great donation is done I'm gonna end the vlog here because we are going to watch the live episode of Bachelor tonight and then we're gonna watch the two episodes of a teacher that we haven't watched yet so i'm really excited but i love you guys so much i hope you have had an absolutely amazing day let me know if you guys are liking vlogmas anyways i love you guys so much subscribe if you are new here and i'll see you guys tomorrow for another new video Bye bye